Hi guys, it's Amanda Jean here again with another video and today I'm doing the Do All Blind People Think the Same Tag? Links for that is down in the description below as well as my social media links so please be sure to check them out. This tag I found on YouTube from my friend Cassie who also did the tag and I will also link her tag down in the description as well and thank you Cassie so much for tagging me to do this it was a lot of fun and so with that let's get started question one has being blind enhanced my other senses I say agree and that's because on days when my vision isn't as good I find that I'm relying on my touch and hearing a lot more Question two, I prefer to date fellow blind people. I also give this about a five because I haven't dated much and honestly, it could go either way and I wouldn't mind. I mean, there's advantages to both sides. So I just have to wait and see who God has in store for me. Question three, I am less shallow about romantic partners. I disagree because to me, it's all about the heart and about how your partner is treating you. Are they treating you with love and respect? Unsolicited help makes things harder. I totally agree. And I can give an example of this. Back when I was doing orientation and mobility classes and I was in downtown Pensacola learning how to cross busy streets, um, this one man came up to me and said, hey, I'll hold the traffic for you and you can just walk across with me. And I was like, um, sir, thank you, but I'm in training. And if, if I had accepted that help and didn't explain, hey, I'm in training, then I wouldn't have learned anything. So for sure, getting extra help when you don't ask for it or a request, yeah, when you don't ask for it, can make things difficult. Question five, the city where I live is easy, easily accessible for me. No, I totally disagree. Even though Pensacola has a city bus, I'm off the beaten path for that. And then um, we have a mini disability bus that can come and pick me up, but it's always late and not very reliable. So. It's just not good for me. Question six. I am offended when blind is used as one of my description descriptive characteristics. I'm going to give it a five because it all depends on the context of what you're talking to me about. I don't mind talking about being visually impaired. I don't mind you describing as me being visually impaired. But one thing that bothers me is when you use the word blind instead of visually impaired or legally blind because I'm neither of those. I'm visually impaired. Or or you can say she has low vision, which I also use. Question seven, being blind has affected my mental health. I 10, I really agree because being visually impaired, it, it gives me anxiety sometimes when I have a hard time seeing things. So yes, I think it, I think it does affect my anxiety and sometimes not getting as many opportunities as someone who is uh, fully sighted also kind of makes me sad sometimes. But there are also a lot of good things about being visually impaired too. Question eight, I have experienced being discriminated against. Yes, number 10 on the scale, definitely. Um, because I don't have a driver's license, a lot of the traditional jobs aren't going to take me. However, the wonderful thing about that is I get to run my own business and be my own boss. So that's really fun. Number nine, last question. If I could regain my sight with a cure, I would. For me, this is a five because I'm so used to being me that, you know, I'm used to it. Now, 
if it would impact my quality of life and maybe take away the blurriness, but not necessarily cure it, then I would definitely think about it and the dizziness because with nystagmus, sometimes I do get dizzy. So yeah. And I want to tag the blogger Chelsea Zampano, who runs VI Blind Resources, and Glenn Turner, who runs Well I Never. Guys, if you like this tag, please let me know down in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, guys, because I realized in my analytics that half of you guys that watch my content aren't subscribed. Help me reach to my goal of getting 300 subscribers by the end of the year, guys. And uh, butterflies, remember, I love you. Stay positive, fly high, and I'll see you next time. Bye.